Pinning and welding a muzzle device is a common task performed by gunsmiths. It is usually done to bring a barrel to legal length to avoid the owner needing a tax stamp for a short barreled rifle. Now many compensators like the Spikes Tactical Dynacom come pre-drilled and include a pin for pinning and welding. The first step is to determine the depth of cut for the pin. The Dynacom for all intents and purposes is 0.2 of an inch. The wall of the barrel is 0.145 of an inch. Now there's no standard when it comes to depth of a cut in the barrel wall. In this case, I'm going to cut to a depth of 0 .060 in the barrel wall. In order to do that, I'm going to add the 0.2 of the compensator for a final depth of cut of 0.26. The diameter of the hole will depend on the size of the pin that you use. I usually first put the gas block on before I drill. That way I don't have to remove the drilled compensator to put the gas block on later. And once the part is squared in the vise, the compensator and barrel can be drilled to depth. Before placing the pin in welding, I remove the finish around the area to be welded so that the weld isn't compromised. Next, the pin is placed into the blind hole and the welding can happen. I usually leave a bit of the pin proud so that I don't have to use filler rod and so that a nice bump is left. That way, there's no question that the compensator has been pinned and welded. I apologize for the Mosin quality. My camera was apparently completely out of focus. I set my TIG welder to 50 amps, which felt like a little much. If I had another go at it, I would probably set it to 42 or 43 amps. After the welding, the part can be dressed with a file as needed, and then cold blued to make it easy on the eyes. 